Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. Instead of looking at speculation and rumours but the Nintendo NX, I'm actually going to discuss my top 5 games that I would like to come to the system as a launch game. So obviously there have been a couple of games that we know that come in, for example Zelda Breath of the Wild, but I'm going to talk about 5 games and 5 franchises I would like Nintendo to create a game for as a launch title within maybe, you know, on release day or within the first few weeks or a couple of months of the system being on the store shelves. All right then, so let's get into it. So number one, firstly, so we already know there's a Zelda title coming to the NX called Breath of the Wild, which I'm sure everyone knows of. You know, it's pretty hard to miss. It's the only game Nintendo focused on at E3 and it looks amazing. It's gonna be the best Zelda game ever. It's the most open, expansive experience in the Zelda universe that Nintendo has created up until now. So I'm not gonna to speak too much about this game in particular, but I think the fact that Zelda coming to a new console, regardless of the console is for Nintendo, is always a good thing. If you look back to the Wii when Tro Twilight Princess launched on the Wii, even though it came out on the GameCube as well, it was ported over to the Wii and mirrored due to the motion controls, etc. But it did really well. I know that's probably not the primary reason why the Wii sold well in the first place, but having a Zelda title there did also attract some Nintendo fans to the console, maybe that weren't so bothered about the motion controls. And yeah, the Twilight Princess was a good Zelda game, so obviously had a, a remake on the Wii U. But then if you look at the Wii U, speaking of that console, it never had its own Zelda title. It's going to get Breath of the Wild as well, but it'll be shared like Twilight Princess was shared with the GameCube and the Wii. The GameCube also had the Wind Waker, and I know that's got a HD remake on Wii U as well, but it hasn't got its own Zelda title. And it's quite easy to think that might have hurt some sales from the console. I mean, obviously people have bought it for Breath of the Wild, but a lot of people who wouldn't have bought it yet and might have bought it for Breath of the Wild would now wait until the NX. But it's understandable at the same time why they've ported it over and pushed it as an NX game as well. Because I think it's going to be a system seller. It's gonna, if it launches on the same day as the NX, I think it's got so much potential to help shift consoles right at the start of the NX's lifespan and that will bode well for the future of the console in terms of third party support because it'll be in more people's homes and also just Nintendo generally doing better which they didn't really do well with the Wii U so they really need Zelda to sort of push systems out for them. So I don't really want to talk too much about Zelda because everyone knows a lot about that already. It's an announced game and people have seen things from that game. So. Saying that then, moving on to number two. A lot of people would love a console to launch with a Mario title. So not, not like the Wii U with the new Super Mario franchise. I mean, it's a good game, but it's not a system seller. People do love Mario, but and that can come later on. But I think that's not really going to get people to buy the system because they're all really the same game, just a bit different. And now you've got Mario Maker. I mean, people can make unlimited levels using that tool now. So I think they, sh they shouldn't go down the route of a 2D Mario platformer, but instead, and I know a lot of people probably be expecting me to say right now something like Mario Galaxy or Mario Sunshine, a 3D Mario adventure like those games, but I'm actually going to go for a Mario Kart title. And this is because if you look at the history of Mario Kart, the last couple of iterations of the game have come in a three year span. And it's going to be three years since the last title, Mario Kart 8, when the NX is launched, or just under three years, a couple of months. But Mario Kart is a system seller at the end of the day. And as good as a 3D Mario title would be, and I would love that to come down the line, I think at launch, Mario Kart would be a better option. And the reason I say that is obviously you've got Zelda for like a single player adventure, you know, a solo experience. Mario Kart will offer the sort of multiplayer experience online and at home. And the at home part is significant with Nintendo consoles. And with the sort of concept of the NX being a hybrid, um, obviously not confirmed, but we all, but you know, it's all but going to be a hybrid now. With that, with that being the case, I believe a Mario Kart title would be perfect for the system because obviously you can play it at home, you can play it on the go as well and still have two player co-op playing on the go and you can also play online and I think everyone loves Mario Kart. It's not just a game that you pick up and play on your own. People who don't even buy consoles or have a console, they love Mario Kart in a lot of cases. I mean, I've got when friends come over, none of them really own a PlayStation or a Wii or anything like that. But if I say, shall we have a game of Mario Kart? Everyone's up for it. They love it. You know, everyone just enjoys playing Mario Kart. Even my younger brother and sister, I can play with them, my parents, and even my granddad loves Mario Kart. So everyone, in my experience anyway, it's, it's a game that everyone can play and everyone can get together in the same room and have that maybe old fashioned, but still quite pleasant and fun co-op experience, couch multiplayer experience that Nintendo excels at offering. 
and a Mario Kart title alongside a Zelda title that would be a definite um, winner for Nintendo at the start of a console's life cycle, in my personal opinion. So moving on then to number three, and this one, staying with the theme of a racing game, is a title that wouldn't that hasn't been seen since the GameCube, and that is F Zero. So I'd love another game in the F Zero franchise. Obviously, you had the fast racing Neo game that came out on the Wii U that was sort of similar to F Zero, uses a lot of the same concepts and principles of the game, but an actual F Zero title with Captain Falcon and all the rest of the characters in it would be amazing. I think it would have been great on the Wii U because obviously they're updated to HD for the first time in Nintendo's history, but that didn't happen, so I'd love it if it came out with the NX. And I think it would make a statement as well, maybe not for casual people they're trying to grab from the mobile market, but for the people who have been fans of Nintendo for a long time, it would make a statement to say, we are here for you and we are bringing back one of our maybe forgotten franchises we do still remember, we know you won it and we're going to give it to you. And I think that would be a really good thing for Nintendo to do and it would keep a lot of fans happy. So, so far you would have had Zelda, you know, everyone loves Zelda, it's a system seller. Mario Kart there for everyone, people, are, especially the casual people that might, they're trying to pull off the mobile sort of market. An F-Zero game to keep the fans knowing that Nintendo is still there for its own fans and still looking to provide games that they want and experiences they want that they haven't forgotten from before. So I think F-Zero would be a great title to relaunch on the NX. Okay, so number four then, moving on. And this one I know is a lot of people have hopes that it's going to happen, but a new Metroid title would be great as well for the system. So it's been a while since the last 3D Metroid title, Metroid Other M, which was on the Wii, which wasn't given great reviews. I haven't played it myself, so I'm going to reserve judgment on that. But obviously the Metroid Prime series, which also did so well, um, people really want another 3D Metroid game, or even a 2D Metroid game I think people would be happy with. So I think Metroid on the NX could be a brilliant idea, especially, again, the same reasons I've said for F-Zero. It's sort of a forgotten franchise at the moment. I know they've got a 3D game, Federation Force, which was recently launched, but that hasn't really done very well because fans want an actual Metroid game, and they feel like they've been given this as a spin-off, but they haven't had the actual Metroid fix, and that's not gone down well with a lot of people, understandably. And I think Nintendo could right that wrong by, by putting a Metroid title on the console for launch, or soon after launch, and I think that would be a brilliant idea for them. Like I said, same reasons for F-Zero, showing they're there for their long-serving fans, putting a game there that everyone wants. They know their fans want a Metroid, so they're going to give it to them. A really good experience. I mean, I was going to say something similar to Zelda, but something similar to Zelda in the case of a massive open world, Maybe that crossed with like a No Man's Sky, sort of you can travel to several different places and make it a bit more open world. That would be an amazing thing, I think, for the Metroid series, like space exploration, um, on your own as Samus, encountering all of these Metroid enemies. I think that would be a really good idea um, for the NX. There are a lot of rumours and there is a lot of hope that Metroid might be one of the titles coming to NX because retro games, I believe, haven't really made um, a game recently they've been quite quiet a lot of people are hoping it's because they're working on a new metroid game for the nx which will be announced also with the console because obviously that still hasn't been announced but we'll have to wait and see on that one okay last but not least i'm gonna go away from nintendo franchises for this one because obviously third party support is a big thing and it's very important to keep people buying the system and to keep games coming to the system and the wii u suffered and so did the wii with a lack of it and maybe even previous consoles before that have always had a lack of third party support in some areas. But I think one game in particular that I think would be a really good game to try and get onto the system, it's been out for a while, so not in terms of being a new game come in and you know you can get the version of the on the NX you won't have to get on the PS4 or whatever. But Rocket League I think would be a brilliant game to put on the system. Not only because it's got an eSports scene these days and the game is seeing constant free updates and keeps being developed and updated for the fans. New experience are added in like the recent Rumble game mode. There's a new one coming up which is going to be underwater. I haven't seen too much about it but it looks pretty cool. But I feel the fact that you can't really play Rocket League on the go at the moment. And I think with the NX the fact that you can play it in the house like you can on the PC or PlayStation or Xbox that's fine. That's not going to be the main selling point. That's just, you know, the normal thing, the normal way to play Rocket League. But when you're out and about and you're traveling or whatever, you're on a train or you're just out on a holiday, you fancy playing Rocket League, you can still play it on the NX because you can take it with you. And I think that would be brilliant that you can play Rocket League on the go. And I think the NX will be the system 
that offers the chance for that to happen and I think it could do it really well uh, because the game is so popular I think it would you know sell quite well as well and that would be a good indication for third parties that third party games or indie games in this case but still a third party indie game can do well on the console especially if they try and play to the strengths of the system being both portable and home if that is the case like I said it's not actually been announced yet but we are pretty certain that is what it's going to be so let me know what you think in the comments below what games would you love to see on the NX as launch title games I mean there's several others you could include like a Super Smash Brothers but in the case of Super Smash Brothers it's not been that long since the last one and they do take quite a while to develop and you know they're usually delayed as well I just feel like as much as a new Super Smash Brothers game would be a really good launch title, it's too soon to the last game, in my opinion, anyway. So let me know what games you'd like to see if you agree with my choices. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more Nintendo NX content.